Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more Franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators of course and we are in 1997 at the start of February two points out of a playoff spot um, we are right there in the hunt we can make it uh, of course, if we look at the bottom right of the screen there, uh, we have a pretty long list of really good players that are injured. <laughs> um, that's going to complicate things. Now, I did something that I don't do super often. And prior to uh, starting this video, I made an actual trade offer. I am not going to say what it is. We're going to go ahead and see if it goes through. I probably will hear back from it here soon. But I believe that it would be a pretty decent trade for us that would um, help us offensively. At least I would really hope so. And uh, my scout seems to think that it's a pretty good offer that I made. So we're going to go ahead and see what happens here. I don't make a lot of trade offers. Uh, I explained why before, because without draft picks and everything, it's extremely hard uh, to trade. But that trade kind of makes sense with where I'm at right now, uh, with the assets that I currently have. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and see what happens so we are playing our first game in February today on February 1st we are facing the Toronto Maple Leafs which, which we've beat uh, once this year a 2 to 1 win so let's go ahead and see what happens we're gonna go ahead and hope that uh, all of those uh, replacement players can do something for us because we sure have a lot of them playing right now Alright, so uh, Toronto sending Vincent Riendo in net. We are going with Ronick Stahl. So Ronick Stahl have uh, retaken his starter spot with us. Uh, let's go ahead and hope we can win with all of those injured players. It's not going to be easy. And we won 3-1. to one. So even with all the injuries, we prevailed. Look at that. They... For them, they have Joe Sacco, uh, who's day to day with a medium facial cut, and you know, the text almost doesn't fit in all that line for all of my injuries. But we won, that's what matters. Oh, yeah, and we outshot them 32 to 18, so I'm liking that. Uh, Norm McIver was the first star for us with a goal and an assist. Joe Sacco was the second star for Toronto uh, with an assist, and Alexi Yashin with a goal and an assist was the third star. So Lonely Loach scored on the power play from McIver and Yeshin. Yeshin on the power play from Kelly Johansson and Sergei Berzin. And then McIver on the power play from Andreas Dackel and Robert Zvela. So uh, we made them pay for their uh, indiscipline. And we scored three power play goals and we won. Vitaly Yakmanov is better at right wing now. Right, we are going to advance to the next day. All right, let's take a look at all of those news. So a night to remember for Pat Peak. Oh, Pat Peak here with a hat trick, three goals. Playing for Washington, 23 years old. Vincent Danfus has tallied 500 assists uh, in his career, so that's pretty good. He is only 29, so he had an assist against uh, New Jersey. Uh, John Paddock is angry at the local media. Uh, yeah, I guess Phoenix is not doing all that awesome. Uh, they're playing for 500. So Sens fans might remember that we briefly had John Paddock as our head coach. Uh, that didn't work out all that great. He wasn't there for very long. Uh, Jeff Brown, 600 points in his career. So Logan Brown's dad uh, had a goal and two assists. Pretty good game for him. Okay, so now Rod Bryden is concerned. Uh, we went 6-5-2 in January. 
we're two points out of a playoff spot and all of a sudden the owner is concerned so I'm not really following the logic behind it I think that uh, I think that that email probably would make more sense if they would flesh it out a little bit by putting in the email every month to reminding us what the goals are for the team like if I'm supposed to be rebuilding uh, maybe you know put go the goals in there or something like that I think that would make a lot more sense because just getting that it's like well last month he was happy and now he's concerned I'm still winning I'm two points out so, so what does he want so <clears throat> if a <clears throat> if a dev listens to that uh, I doubt that they will but if they do uh, probably would be a suggestion to add that in that uh, email there so that we know exactly oh okay he's concerned because you know I'm starting to win too much and he wants for me to get a high draft pick even though I don't have draft picks uh, in that game but I think you catch what I'm trying to say all right scouting reports here and V Peltonen is going to be back soon Oh, let me, uh, there's one thing I didn't check prior to shooting the video, so I apologize for that. I forgot to check here <laughs> uh, for the injury list. Okay, so when Peltonen is good to go to come back, yeah, I can just put him in, and same with uh, Zardy Zalapski. Okay. Usually I check that prior to shooting the video, but I guess I got too excited with my trade offer. So, let's we'll see. Russ Courtnell has reached 300 goals in his career. Oh wow, he's going uh, in improving. I don't remember that he was three stars and a half prior to to this. That's pretty good. So he got a goal. So 300 goals in his career. He's 30. He's 32. Yeah, he had a pretty good season last year. A point per game. That's definitely definitely pretty good. Uh, all right, scouting reports. Andreas Dackel is ready to be. Well, he was already playing, I think. All right, and we are playing our next game against the Vancouver Canucks at home. So we are hosting the Canucks. Uh, we have lost the first game of the season to the one against them. Uh, they have a pretty good record: twenty-seven, nineteen, and four for fifty-eight points. So we are playing at home against them and then tomorrow we're playing in Boston. Boston that we're trying to uh, catch up with. We're trying to catch up with Philadelphia, with Boston and to a certain extent Buffalo. So and we have games on 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 them too. So we need to win even though that's going to be pretty hard against the Canucks. All right. We're going back to Ronikstall. They're going with Bob Essenza in net. Uh, who has 11 wins in 16 games. That's pretty good. A pretty good save percentage too. So not going to be easy. Lost 2 to 1 first game. Oh, we won 42. So the our replacement players are doing really good for us right now. So uh, they're holding the fort for us and giving us a chance to sneak into the playoffs for the first time in our history. All right. So they only had Greg Adams injured. Of course, we have uh, quite the collection in the infirmary. Let's, let's take a look at those stats. So we outshot them 39 to 31. That's pretty good. Uh, Todd Warner for us was the first star with two assists. Brent Sopel for Vancouver was the second star with two assists. And Kelly Johansson, a uh, third star with a goal and an assist. Uh, let's see, Alexi Yashin uh, scored on the power play from Loney Loach and Andreas Dako. So I like Loney Loach. He never really had a career in the NHL, but he's serviceable. He's not a great player. He's not a superstar, but he's he's pretty serviceable for us. Uh, that's why I resigned him. I don't regret it. Uh, Andreas Dako scored from Benoit Bugunet and Kelly Johansson. Then Kelly Johansson scored again from Todd Warner and v Vitaly Yakmenev. And Jamie Baker from Todd Warner and Vitaly Yakmenev again. It's a pretty good game. We beat a pretty good team. Sadly, look at that attendance number. I don't know what to do. We hosted a really good team. We're in the playoff hunt, uh, but we're not attracting people. Maybe our players are all too ugly. Maybe that's why. I don't know. 
Oh, so, okay, so it looks like it's not going to go through for the trade, sadly. Alright, so... Uh, okay, that's that. Daniel Alfredson might be back soon. So that was my trade offer that I that I liked. Um, I cannot agree to this trade, but it's close to being all right. So I have the rights to Brian Berard, who is a two and a half star potential defenseman, and I was trying to go for Bill Guerin, who is a three star potential. He's two stars and a half right now. I was hoping that maybe they would say yes because it's, you know, a young player and everything. Uh, I would love to add Bill Guerin to my team. Um, I don't know what else I could add to that. Alright, so let me add... Let me add Ivan Sielnik to it. He's a two star potential. Alright, so we're gonna delete that. I, I really want Bill Guerin. Uh, I think that I really liked his style of play when he was playing, kind of a poor power forward and everything, so. Uh, I think he would fit on the team really well. At least that's my opinion. <clears throat> Good scoring touch and can play up in the lineup. All right, so Doug Huda is available. I'm not going to get him. Uh, we had Wojtek and we got rid of him. So I'm not going to go and get him again. And Dale Craigwell. Yeah, I'm not picking up any of those guys. So, yo. So let's play against Boston. So, oh, so now we move to eight because we have played less games than the Flyers, and we have Hartford that's in the mix too. And now we can catch Boston, and we're playing them. We have won three out of four games against Boston so far this year. It might be a little bit pretentious to think that we can win again it would be awesome uh, but I'm not sure that it's going to happen so let's see if it does happen or not All right so they're sending guards no we're going with Guy back and that uh, Guy in the past has been playing well for us he started pretty slow he's been playing a little bit better lately uh, still not a great season for him uh, but he's been a little bit better lately let's let's hope he can win this for us I need a big performance on the road here yikes we lost six nothing so that's not good there's going to be very few things to look at for us. Uh, we outshot them 31-30, but uh, yeah, they completely dominated this game. Guard Snow was stellar with a 31 save performance with the shutout first star. Sensis Ozelinch, who is now in Boston, uh, with a 3 assist performance, was a second star. And Ted Donato, a goal and 2 assists uh, for the third star. We didn't do anything, so I'm not looking at anything here. Uh, so Rob Brown is back from suspension, now playing for the Islanders. Ron Francis extends his goal streak to five games with a goal against the Canucks. Daniel Alfredson is almost ready to come back. And Vili Peltonen is ready to come back. So I will welcome him on, back on the team with open arms. Uh, who do I send down? Probably Paris Vardvedit. Alright, you continue to take the bus up and down. I'm sorry, buddy. Nothing personal. Alright. The next game is going to be in three days. We're going to play at home against San Jose. That's a game we cannot afford to lose, as is the next game against Buffalo as well. 
Alright, so Ron Francis extends his goal streak to six, so he scored in six straight games. He had a goal against Montreal. Good job. Alfredson is back to come back. Is ready to come back, rather. All right, I'm gonna give up trying to get Bill Guerin, I guess. So Peter Klima has achieved 600 points in his career, so two assists for him uh, against the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, so that's pretty good. He is 32 years old. All right. All right, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to pursue it any further. I am sorry. I attempted to. I, they want too much at this point. So I am going to keep what I have. We have not been playing all that bad. So hopefully we can continue on that uh, on that little streak here. All right. Oh, yikes. New Jersey's Sullivan, uh, Steve Sullivan to take five months to recover from a fractured knee. So Steve Sullivan, yeah, that's a, a pretty bad injury there. Yeah, it must hurt. I never had a fractured knee, but... All right. And uh, Alexander Degg is about to come back. And Chris Chelios extends with Chicago. So two years at 2.07 millions per season. So we're starting to see contracts in the 2 million per year now. So it's starting to climb on us. And then, of course, in, a f in about, what, seven years-ish, we're going to have the salary cap that's going to kick in, and then it's really going to get fun. Or not, depending on how my team is built. By then, I'm probably going to have a pretty strong team. I would hope. I don't know. Alright, playing against San Jose next game, so we fell back to 10th, but it's mostly because other teams have played and we haven't. And we need this win, we need to win against San Jose. Oh, we haven't played them this year, so we're going to take a look at their uh, at their roster there. So, uh, the Sharks are 15, 30 and 7, so they are not doing very good. Now let's take a look at their lineup. Uh, do they have a lot of injuries? Nobody there. They have, like, uh, Victor Kozlov here. So let's see. Hackett and Irby in net. That's, that, that's respectable. Uh, Jason Kellymore, uh, Roger Johansson, Glenn Wesley, Jay Moore, James Patrick, Mike Ratji, uh, Jeff Friesen, Jamie Langan Brunner, Dean McCammon, Ray Whitney, Berenzan, Kudashov, Kili Kisio. Kelly Kisio is getting old. Uh, Kozlov, Gwola, Brian Scrudlin, Sullivan, Pat Falloon, Rob Godro, Igor Karlev, and Krivo Kresov. Alright. It's not a great team, uh, <clears throat> but it's like on paper, those players, that's a little bit better than what I was expecting to see when I opened the. Uh, the lineup screen. I mean, Jeff, Jeff Friesen, Jimmy Langan Brunner, Ray Whitney, uh, Kozlov is okay. Uh, Krivokrasov and Karolev are okay as well. So, I mean, it's it's not a gimme. It's not a gimme. We're not uh, necessarily going to win this game. Alright, so let's see here. Alfredson's playing on the first line with Yashin and Bugune. I like that. Salinger. Okay, I don't have too much problems with my lines. All right, they are sending Jeff Ackett in net. We are going with Ron Extall. We need a win. All right, we won 42. We needed that win. We were supposed to win, I suppose. Um, so it went uh, according to plan. 
not always the case. So we outshot the Sharks 33-29. to Mike Seninger was the first star of the game with a goal and an assist. Glenn Wesley was the second star with two assists. And Kelly Johansson was the third star with a goal and an assist. So we have Norm McIver that opened the scoring on the power play from Zvela and Yeshin. Vitaly Yakmenev scored from Todd Warner and Jimmy Baker. And then the Sharks tied uh, the game, and in the second, Kelly Johansson scored from Pear Juice and Mike Salinger. And finally, in the third, Mike Salinger scored from Vili Peltonen and Kelly Johansson. So, nice game all in all. And, of course, uh, we got uh, another injury. So, Sheldon Surrey uh, suffered a strained hip muscle today in a game against the San Jose Sharks. He will miss five weeks. Congratulations, Sheldon. You are injured like most everybody else. Is there somebody that I can get back? I mean, Zalapski is day to day. What does it say on that screen there? It says one day, but he's not available to play. He's about to, so I think I'm just going to get. He can sit for a few days as long as I don't have another injury. I should be fine. Now somebody's gonna need to play on the right side. Alright, we are playing tomorrow against Buffalo. All right, so what do we have here? Good night for Matt Sundin with a hat trick, three goals. Ron Francis extends his goal streak to seven, so seven straight games for Francis with a goal. He had a goal and an assist against the Red Wings. All right, so Alexander Degg's about to come back, and so is Artie Zalapski. So maybe i didn't call him back up too soon but he won't play he can't play right now all right so we are playing against buffalo we only played them twice so far this year which is a little weird because they're a divisional rival um i guess that means we're gonna play them a lot in march or something uh so buffalo is 27 23 and 5 so pretty decent season for them and um we won both contests against them so far this year. So playing on the road. So we have a road trip here. We have four games straight on the road. Um, time to show our character. We need some road wins here. We need to climb up in the standings. Because other teams are also winning. And they are not going to give us a spot in the playoffs without saying anything. So we need to win this. All right, so they're going with Darren Poopa. We're going with Gieba. I, I need a I need a big game from Yashin. That's that's where you need to step up, buddy. And we lost in overtime. So there's no point for that. Lost two to one in overtime. So that's that's gonna hurt. Uh, let's take a look here. So they outshot us 39 to 27, so they probably deserve that win. Ooh, we took a lot of penalties, guess a few misconducts or something. Oh, Yashin got tossed in the first. That's not good. <laughs> I needed him. All right, so Pat Lafontaine was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Guy Hebert for, for us was the second star. He had 37 saves, and then Yashin had a goal. So Yashin had the time to score a goal before he was tossed. Wait. Oh no, it wasn't a game misconduct, it was, it was just a misconduct. Alright, so I was like, how is it possible because he didn't score it in the first, and, but uh, okay, I misread that. So Yashin scored in the third from Lonnie Loach and Robert Zvela, and then Dave Andrejchuk scored on the power play in overtime, who was... Pino oh god. 
Okay, so it was Vid Vitaly Yakmanov was in the box when that happened. Alright, so scouting reports, Alexander Degg really close to come back, Zardy Zalewski might play soon. Yep, you know, he has a yellow cross, so he might be playing. Uh, next game is against the Islanders in Long Island. Alright, so... Yeah... And Alexander Degg is back. Okay, that's good. Can use him. And Sergei Fyodorov uh, extended in Detroit. So, oh yeah, that's a six-year contract uh, for 17 million and change over the six years. So, pretty good contract. Now, I am, <clears throat> I am very curious, and I mentioned that before, to see because Fyodorov is 27, he's been suspended quite a few times in this save and last time he was suspended, he was suspended for like 11 or 13 games or something like that so I'm curious to see if it keeps going up if he gets suspended again I mean, if it just keeps going up, you know, is he gonna miss half a season for suspension or something? That's... I don't know Alright, so who am I sending? I think I'm sending uh, Berezin down yeah, he hasn't been very effective. All right, bear is in, you go down. And Deg is coming back. All right. Let's play. Let's play them Islanders. They are 27, 20, and 7 uh, on the year. And we lost both contests against them so far this year. So a win here would not hurt at all. All right, they are sending Mark Fitzpatrick. We are sending Ron Extall. Ouch. Oh boy. Maybe I need to have uh, all of those guys injured again so I can bring back the replacement players because they were doing better. So we got rocked 7 to 1. That's really not good. Outshot 45 to 26. I mean, nothing went well in this game. Uh, Marty McKinnis was the first star of the game with a hat trick, three goals. Tom Curver's second star, a goal and two assists. And Scott Lachance, third star with two assists. And Alexander Degg welcomed his return to the lineup with a goal assisted by Todd Warner, but that would be the entirety of our offense right there. Memorable night for Marty McInnes. Yeah, we just saw that. We witnessed it first time. We really needed a win here. Uh, Theo Fleury has accomplished 300 goals in his career, so he scored a goal against Boston. So he's 28. Yeah, it's 300 goals. That's pretty good. 900 points for Junior and Dyke, 30 years old. He had two goals and an assist in that same game. That's pretty good. Paul Coffey, 1,500 points, 35 years old. No sign of slowing down too much. He has an assist. And sorry, Zalewski is on the edge of returning. He's already played. Next game is at Philadelphia. Important game. And then two games against the Whalers who are, you know, right ahead of us too. So the next three games are really important. And of course, that's a three games and four nights situation for us. All right. So Tommy Shodin, who used to play for us, as you know, uh, got suspended in Boston and he will miss three games. Pat Elenak is back for the Waiters from suspension, and Zary Zalewski is fully healed. Alright, 
we are going to win this. We can do it. Playing against the Flyers. They are 22, 23, and 9. So they're ahead of us because they've been tying a lot. That's basically what's going on. Because we have more wins than them. And one of those wins happened in the first and only game between the two teams. We trash them 7-1 so I am hoping we can do that again but we're playing on the road it looks like we're not playing as efficiently on the road so hopefully we can win this game all right so Zardy Zalapski is the guy that's playing on the right side since I don't really have three right D's up right now Oh, so Philly is going with Martin Brochu in net, and we're going with Ronick Stahl. Ronick Stahl playing against their for his former team. I, I need a big game from Yashin, I really do. Go, Sens, go! Ah, it's a tie. So we both get a point. I guess they're not distancing uh, themselves further, but uh, I really needed the win here. Alright, so let's take a look at... the. Uh, those stats here. Oh, well, we probably uh, we probably didn't deserve even the tie. We were completely outshot, forty to eighteen. So it looks like we were outplayed. West Walls for Philadelphia was the first star with a goal. Alexander Degg, second star for us with an assist, and Eric Weinrich, third star with an assist. Radic Bonk scoring a power play from Lonely Loach and Alexander Degg. Lonely Loach seems to be a power play specialist because it seems that every time that he has a point, it's on the power play, or, or so it seems. Then Norm McIver scored from Vili Peltonen, but then the Flyers opened it up in the third and tight game. Oh, that's true, the Flyers have Marcus Neslon, I forgot about that. All right, so a good game for Alexey Kovalev uh, with the Rangers. He had a hat trick, three goals against the Blues. All right, back to back against the Waiters. Really important uh, games. They are two points ahead of us. And we have the same amount of games played, so if we can win both games, that would be awesome. Um, but, yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Alright, so at Artford, so the Waiters are 24, 24, and 7. Um, and we are one and one against uh, against the Whalers. The the road team won uh, each game, so we lost at home five to one, and we won in Hartford three to one. We're playing in Hartford again, so hopefully that carries over. All right, go go go, go sends go. All right, we're going with Ronick Stahl. They're going with Sean Burke. Sean Burke is having a really good season with four shutouts. All right, come on, buddy. Can do it. Ugh, we lost 3-2. to two. That one hurts. We needed a win. And Todd Warner got hurt. Okay. And they had Chris Pronger, Ert, Craig Conroy, Randy Kennyworth, Jeff Sanderson. Pat wow, that <laughs> most of their good players were hurt, and they still managed to beat us. That's unacceptable. Practice at 4:30 in the morning. You're gonna skate, guys. All right, so shots were tied 27-27. Andrew Castles was the first star of the game with a goal and an assist. Benoit Brunet for us, second star with two assists. And Pat Verbeek, two assists, was the third star. So I guess he's injured but can play or he got hurt later in that game. I'm not sure. Daniel Alfredson scored from Norm McIver and Benoit Brunet and paired juice from Mike Salinger and Benoit Brunet and again just like against the Flyers we couldn't hold on to the lead and then they would score three uh, unassisted and beat us and look at that who has the game winning goal the guy that I traded to them Pavel Dimitra 
with the game-winning goal against the team that treated him for Zardy Zalapski. That'll teach me. All right. So Todd Warner is hurt for all long. Four days. Okay, I'm not gonna recall anybody for four days. Those guys can play. All right. John McLean has racked up 600 points in his career. Uh, that's pretty good. So one assist against Montreal. 32 years old. Larry Murphy extends his assist streak to eight games. Um, so two assists for him in a game against the Flyers. And Yarmir Jagger resigns with Pittsburgh. Well, that would have been nice if he would have hit free agency. I might have signed him for, oh, I don't know, maybe 200000 Oh, God. So five years for Jagger at basically $3 million a season. So we're seeing two and $3 million uh, dollar contracts now. Um. All right, we absolutely need to win this game. If we don't, that's really going to hurt us. All right, come on, we can beat we can beat the Whalers. We can. So they're going with Fred Brathwaite and we're going with Giba. So the both backups are going in. As you can see, they don't use their backup as much as we do. Of course, they have Sean Burke and he's pretty solid. So Come on. Need a win. All right. We won that one. Five to three. So it's not overly disastrous that we split the back the back to back it would have been disastrous to lose both all right so oh boy so we outshot them 32 to 13 so we're kind of lucky <laughs> Giba wasn't playing all that great so we're kind of lucky that they didn't shoot more uh alfie was the first star of the game with two goals Terry Yake for Hartford was the second star with three assists, and Robert Zvella for us, third star with a goal. So Reddick Bonk scored from Pear Juice and Jody L. Robert Zvella scored from Scott Thornton and Benoit Bogunet. Vili Peltonen from Zardy Zalewski and Alexi Yashin. Alfredson from McCabe and Peltonen, and then Alfredson in an empty net from Jamie Baker. Uh, Craig Johnson is available and Craig Darby I am not going to pick them up uh, Sergei Fedorov extends his point streak to 12 games uh, that's pretty good he had an assist against the Panthers dynamic passing leads to products of night for Yarmir Jagger who celebrates his new contract with a 4 assist performance against the Flyers Larry Murphy extends his point streak to 12 games in that same game. And that was 9 straight games with an assist for him. Alright. Oh god. Another injury. Andreas Dackel is hurt again. 7 days, what do I do with that? I already have Todd Warner that's hurt. I guess I'll try to tough it up. But if I have somebody else up front that's hurt, I have to do something. All right, so New York's King, so Chris King is suspended, uh, six games with the Rangers. Fyodorov extends his point streak to 13 games with a goal and an assist against the Lightning. Uh, all right. So we are playing in Washington. Washington, again, having a lot of problems 
They are 15, 38, and 4. And we've split the season series so far with them. Uh, a win uh, on each side. So we won 5 to 3 and lost 7 to 3. So one, the loss that we had against them was pretty shameful. Alright, so we're hitting the road again for two games. So let's go ahead and uh, hopefully we can beat the Capitals. So they're going with Olaf Kolzig, so that's not because they don't have a good goaltender. If I remember correctly, it was pretty much everything else. And then we're going with Ronikstall. And we lost in overtime, 43. We couldn't afford to lose against Washington. That's a team we absolutely needed to beat. I am not happy with that. And we outshot them 42 to 27, but Kozik was just was just too good. Sergei Gonchar was the first star of the game with two assists. Alexey Yashin, three assists, second star, and Clark Wilm was the third star with an assist. Right, so let's see. Norm McIver scored on the power play from Yashin and Alfredson. Kelly Owenson from Brunet and Yashin. And then Brunet from from Kelly Owenson and Yashin. So we were down 3 0. We tied it 3 3 in the third, but then we dropped it in overtime. Mikhail Pivanka scored on the power play again. So somebody took a penalty. Uh, it was Benoit Brunet. Took a penalty at the end of the third. Junior Van Dyke extends his goal streak to five games, so he scored a goal against Buffalo. Larry Murphy extends his point streak to 13 games with a goal and two assists against the Florida Panthers. So that makes it 10 straight with an assist for him. Dave Gagne has racked up 600 points in his career, so that's pretty good. Uh, he had an assist against San Jose, and he's 32, 600 points. All right, Todd Warner might be back soon. And Nick Lidstrom extended in Detroit. So he signed for four years at 2.3 million per. I would totally take him on my team. I believe I mentioned it in a previous episode. Nick Lidstrom is probably my favorite player of all time. Even if he never played for the Suns. All right, we are playing our next game in St. Louis. Alright, so we have four games left here. We need some wins. I mean, we're like tied at eight basically with Boston. So, need some wins. Sergei Fedorov extends his point streak to 14 games with an assist against the Flames. Memorable night for Joe Newman Dyke in that same game. He had a hat trick, three goals. And that was six straight games with a goal for him. <clears throat> Alright, playing against the Blues next game. We won the first game of the season 5-4 to four against them. And St. Louis is now 29-25-6. and six. All right, let's see. They're going with Curtis Joseph, who is a really good goaltender. And we're going with Ronick Stahl. Won't be easy, and we're playing on the road. We need a win. We need to pull through. Oh, boy. And we completely faltered and lost 8-1. Maybe I need some players with a little bit more character. Bill Guerin would have been perfect for that. I don't know if that's part of the problem why I sometimes just lose by so much or if it's just that we're not that good. I mean, we're fighting for a playoff spot, so we can't be completely terrible. All right, so we were outshot 32 to 24. Brett Hull was the first star of the game with a goal and four assists. Jeff Brown, a goal and three assists, and Rick Zumbo, third star with an assist. And the lone goal for us was scored by Patrick Travers from Yeshin and Daniel Alfredson. Brettel has a great game. Yep, I was there. Norm McIver is getting, be getting, is getting better on the right side of D.
Uh, Tommy Shodin's suspension ended. He is back in the lineup. Uh, Joe Sakic has racked up 500 assists in his career and he's only 27 so he is going to get even better so he had a goal and two assists against the Oilers uh, Adam Burt in Hartford is suspended he's gonna miss seven games then Todd Warner is almost ready to come back Next game is at Colorado. Oh my god. Another game that's going to be tough. Uh, Derek King with uh, the Kings now. Uh, scored in five straight games. Doug Gilmore extends his point streak to 12 games. He had two assists against Montreal. Larry Murphy's point streak ended at 13 games. No score for Murphy against the Blackhawks, so his assist streak is also over at 10. Uh, Fyodorov extends this point streak to 15 games with a goal and three assists against the Blues. Big game for Vyacheslav Kozlov in that same game. He had a goal and four assists, five points. Bill Guerin, oh yeah, just taunt me. Bill Guerin extends his goal streak to five with a goal. Could have used you, buddy. So he scored against Tampa Bay. All right, we are playing in Colorado. Uh, the Avalanche is pretty good. They are 35, 18, and 6. We lost the first game against them at home 4 to 3. I really want for us to win this game, but it's going to be hard. They're going in with Jocelyn Thibault in net. We're still going with Ronick Stahl. Oh, shut out. We shut out the Colorado Avalanche that have Sundin and Sakic and... Wow. I was not expecting that. That's pretty good. My team just surprised me, but of course, we got an injury. Uh, Joe Diel is hurt. He wasn't hurt prior to that. Hopefully, it's not for too long. So, oh wow, they outshot us 44 to 28. Uh, Ronick Stahl uh, played on his head with a 44 safe per performance for the first star. He absolutely deserves it. Benoit Brunet was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Pear Juice, third star with a goal and an assist as well. So Pear Juice from Kelly Johansson and Mike Salinger. Radek Bonk on the power play from Lonnie Loach and Pear Juice. Robert Zvella from Brunet and Yashin, and Brunet from Yashin and Alfredson. So 4 nothing win. Julial is injured, I, I noticed. How long is he injured for? 12 days, yeah, 12 days I'm putting him on the injured reserve. And I am recalling somebody. And, and I, it's going to be smart about it. Uh, is it? Uh, I think I need more of a winger. So maybe I'm gonna... Let's get Berezin back up. Come on, buddy. Come and score goals. You were a decent goal scorer in reality. I mean, you weren't a superstar, but you could score some goals. And I need goals. Uh, Zygmunt Palfi extends his goal streak to five games. So he scored a goal against Pittsburgh. Uh, Andreas Dackel almost recovered. Todd Warner is completely recovered. And I need to give Sergei Berzin his number 94 again. There you go. You can have it. There you go. I'm happy to make you happy. 
All right, next game is going to be at home against Philadelphia again. Very important t game. We're one point behind with one game on on. Uh, Sergei Fedorov extends this point streak to 16 games. He had an assist against the Phoenix Coyotes. And Andreas Dackel is almost back. And Andreas Dackel is back. All right, two games left in the month. Uh, of course, it's February, so the month is a little shorter. Yeah, we need a win, I mean. So we tied once and we won once against Philadelphia, who are 23, 26, and 12. Wow, they tie a lot. All right, let's beat them. Ronick Stall in net facing Jason Curry. Uh, yeah, let's do this. We need a win. Ugh. We lost four nothing. So we won four nothing. Now we lost four nothing. They outshot us 42-25. Prospel was the first star with two assists. Renberg second star with two assists. And Marcus Neslun a golden in assist with the third star. Nothing much to look at. We got shut out. Uh, suspension for Theo Fleury. Uh, he was suspended for five games in Calgary. Joe Newendijk keeps fans on their feet all night. So in that same game, Newendijk had a hat trick. Three goals. Doug Gilmore extends this point streak to 13 with an assist against the Washington Capitals. And Forsberg extended in Colorado for four years uh, for a total of uh, 8.12 million a year. So that's 2.03 million per year. Sorry, it was a total of 8.12, not 8.12 per year. It's 2.03 million a year for four years. Uh, pretty good deal. Alright, and the last game of the month is going to be against the Islanders. Again, it's a game we absolutely need to win. We're still tent, still just within reach. We just cannot get on a winning streak. If we win one, we lose one. That's been like that pretty much uh, the entire month. Or even like the last two or three months, it's pretty much been like that. I just over around 500. I cannot get on a winning streak. All right, so no one could stop Valery Kamienski. Three goals and an assist. Pretty good against the Stars. Great night for Jose Kik in that same game. He had four assists. Sergei Fyodorov's point streak ended at 16 games. It was held scoreless against Pittsburgh. Pedro Svoboda in Buffalo is suspended. He's going to miss three games. Uh, Pierre Turgeon in with the Islanders extended. Ooh, eight years. Eight years, and it's 17.76 million total. So, pretty good deal. Pierre Turgeon was one heck of a player, and he's a four star player in the game. So. And then there's been a trade between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Colorado Avalanche. Alright, so. Mykoff and Wendell Young are going to Toronto for Joe Sacco and Dimitri Yakushin. Yeah, I can't say I really understand that trade. If you're a Toronto, why do you go and get, you know, older players when you're you don't have a good record at all? I am not sure. Maybe they're maybe despite their. Let's see, fifty-two. Yeah, that's a stretch to make the playoffs. They're nine points out. Oh well. All right. So last game of the month, we are playing against the New York Islanders. 
they are 32 21 and 8 they are doing pretty good they are third in the conference and we lost every single game against them so far this year so we need a win i say that a lot but it is true who doesn't need a win all right so we are facing tommy salu we're going with ron Extall. we need a win and we don't get it we get shut out for a second game in a row oh boy so we lost three nothing. They outshot us thirty-eight to twenty-four. Pierre Turgeon was the first star with his new contract in hand, a goal and an assist. Vladimir Malakov with a goal was the second star, and Tom Carver's third star with an assist. So this month hurt. Uh, we needed a little, a little bit more wins than we did get. Gerald Deduck is available. Do I want Gerald Deduck? I don't think so. Excellent passing leads to products of night for Vincent Anfous, who had four assists. A pretty good game. Uh, scouting reports, don't really care. Sheldon Sorry, ready to return to practice. Alright, so that's the development that happened. Let's see. All right, so we are going to delete this. And Jeff Hackett and Wayne Gretzky were the players of the month. So I guess the Sharks did pretty good this month, I suppose. Uh, all right, so this is where we stand after February. We are still 10th and we are still two points out. So we did not move. Like we teased our fans by being eighth for like five seconds and then we went right back down. Uh, yeah, it's really tight. Like between us, Boston, Hartford, Philadelphia, and even to a certain extent, the Rangers and Buffalo, although that's a little bit further up in the standings, like from five to ten, there's only six points and we all played 62 games except for the Rangers who played 63. So it's gonna be really tight. Um, not gonna be easy. Not gonna be easy. That's for sure. Alright, so that's what it looks like here. I looked very briefly at the west uh, the Kings are still first. Detroit and Colorado. Okay, Vancouver. St. Louis is doing pretty good. Calgary. Alright, so. So Tampa Bay is still the worst team in the league. And that's surprising because they're. Between them and the Suns, they're the team that started to do the better, the fastest. In real life, I mean, obviously. All right, uh, let's take a look at our stats. So, uh, yeah, Yashin is. I need a little bit more from from him, and uh, it's unfair to ask that because he's already by far our best player. But I need a little bit more from him. So he's fifty-five points in sixty-one games. Uh, Lonely Loach, thirty-five points in sixty games. How many of them on the power play? 21 so 21 of his 35 points are on the power play so i i did say that he seemed like he was scoring on the power play a lot and that's actually accurate most of his points are scored on the power play actually two thirds of them uh Sillinger 33 points in 61 games alfredson 32 points in 55 so alfredson is starting to show what he can do i need a little bit more from him too i need more from mciver 26 points in 60 games that's not good enough not good enough from my captain i need better all right so that's pretty much where we're at let's look at the league leaders so steve eiserman took the lead back for the goals so 
he was passed before now he's back on top so 40 goals uh, Jagger the best passer with 67 assists so he's been pretty much first most of the season as far as I can remember at least uh, Gritsky and Jagger both have 100 points so 100 point seasons for them already and the season's not over and then as usual I don't really have anybody there No, we don't really have anybody that is in the top anything. So that's pretty much where we're at. So again, uh, wow. So I played for exactly an hour, actually, uh, just to end up exactly where I was when I first started. So it feels like I didn't do any pro make any progress. And I did tra try to trade for Bill Guerin, and I really would have liked to have him, but the Devils wanted way too much for him. Uh, so so I gave up so that's one of those situations where if I was playing you know where I do my drafts and everything I could have added a little draft pick to sweeten the deal there but I don't have access to that and I don't want to give up too many assets uh, they might come in useful for another trade in the future so I don't want to give up like three four five players for one player I'm not gonna do that so that's pretty much where we stand. I want to go on a winning streak so bad, and I'm looking at the calendar for next month, and it looks tough again. <laughs> Every month looks tough. So we'll see. So hopefully we can just go on a winning streak. Like winning five in a row would do wonders for us, but uh, we'll see. And again, we seem to be playing a lot more on the road than we than at home for that month. So it's gonna be another challenge there so I'm gonna go ahead and save the game here and we're gonna call this a video so as usual thank you for tuning in and if you've liked the video feel free to like and subscribe that's always appreciated and until I roll this game again see you guys next time thank you